Hey guys, welcome to another DBMS tutorial. Today we'll be learning about DBMS user types. So let's get started. First thing, what are we going to cover today? We'll look at different types of users in DBMS, and then we'll look at examples of different types of users. All right. So let's get started. First thing, who are users of a DBMS? Okay. So who are the users? People who work with DBMS can be categorized as DBMS users or database administrators. So either you are a user if you are working with a database, or you are a database administrator staff. All right. So there are four types of users of a DBMS. First one is called naive user. Some call it naive user. I don't know what the right word is. I just called it naive user because he has no knowledge of it. All right. The second one is called application programmers. The third one or third category of users is sophisticated users, and the fourth category of user is specialized users. All right, so these are the users of DBMS. Now we'll look at each category of user in detail. All right, so first one, naive user. Now naive users are users who have no knowledge about the database, but use the database via a program written previously. So basically, naive users don't know how the database works, don't know where the database is stored, don't know anything about the database. Okay, what they know is what work they have to do has to be done through a program that was previously written. They don't write any new code. They don't know how to write a query. Nothing. They just are naive users. That is, they have no knowledge about database, but they work with the program that was written previously. All right. So let's say, for example, there is a user who wants to transfer some money from his account to another account. Now he doesn't need to know the programming language or the query language to do this. All right. So he's a naive user. What he does is he goes to the internet banking interface which the bank has programmed previously. All right. And all he has to do is. Add the account number from which he wants to transfer the money, then add the amount of money that he wants to transfer, and finally add the account number of the account that he wants the money to be transferred to. All right. So he has to enter no programming language. He has to enter no query, nothing. All he have to give is the details of his own account number, the amount of money he wants to transfer, and to whom he wants to transfer that person's account number. After submission of this information, the program will write the query according to the information provided by the user. All right. And execute the query on its own, and the money will be transferred. All right. So this is a naive user. He doesn't know how the database works, but he works it with a pre-programmed software that is designed previously. All right. So this is naive user. Now let's look at the next category of user: application program. Now who are application programmers? As the name suggests, application programmers are computer professionals who write application programs. Okay. Now what is their role in DBMS? Application programmers can choose from many tools to develop the user interfaces. Rapid application development tools are tools that enable an application programmer to construct forms and reports without writing a program. For example, let's say there is Adobe Dreamweaver, okay, that makes the form with the help of drag and drop. All right, so this is a rapid application development tool. Just giving an example. All right, so application programmers use these tools multiple times. All right. They don't need to know the query language. All right. They just need to know the programming language, and they use the rapid application development tools that enable programmers to construct forms and reports without using a program. All right. So these are application programmers. The next category of users for DBMS is sophisticated users. Now, who are sophisticated users? Sophisticated users are users who do not use any programs. All right. Instead, they write the queries themselves. In database query language, so imagine these people as hardcore professionals. Okay, so they they don't need to use any softwares or programs or anything like that. They just write the queries themselves in query language. All right, they submit each query to the query processor. Now, just writing the query won't do it. All right, the query has to be processed. So it is done by the query processor. What does the query processor do? It basically breaks down each DML query. Now, what is DML? DML means data manipulation language. Okay, so if you want to learn about the different types of languages, I have made a video on that. Uh, languages in DBMS. I'll put the link above. You can go and check it out. So what query processor does is it breaks down each DML query into instructions that can be understood by a storage manager. All right. So these are sophisticated users. Now let's look at an example of example of uh, sophisticated users. Analysts who submit queries to explore the data in database fall in the category of sophisticated user. So Analysts who want to find out or do some research or analyze the data that is there in the database. Let's say you are an analyst who wants to know about weather patterns 
and there is a whole database available about the weather reports. So basically analyst who is submitting queries to do some analysis on this data, they can be called as sophisticated users because they want the data with some particular context that too, it is not something that can be easily done by a application program or so. So they write their own query in query language. All right. Now let's come to the fourth category of users. They're called specialized users. Now specialized users are the sophisticated users who write the special database applications. All right. So they, they just don't write the queries. They write the special database applications that do not fit into traditional data processing framework. So specialized users don't use traditional data processing framework. Why? Because they have to work with some complex data. Okay. So example of special database applications are computer aided design systems, data storage system with complex data types like audio data or graphical data. All right. So let's say some share market analyst. So these are some graphical data. All right. That are very complex. Okay. So the person who works some sophisticated softwares that are not into the traditional data processing framework, they are called specialized users. So these are the different categories of users in DBMS. If you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Thank you very much. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.